I really like the pillow a lot better now with that middle layer gone. Hey everyone, Digital David here today. In this video, I'm gonna be unboxing and reviewing the Myomont Memory Foam Pillow. They did send me this product to review, but any opinion expressed in this video is strictly my own. That being said, if you're interested in this product, you wanna find out more about it, the link to it will be in my video description below. You can see how it comes packaged in a really nice and simple retail box. This is a gel infused memory foam pillow that actually has an adjustable contour as well. So we can actually remove the middle layer if we want to change our height setting. So we'll have four different height options to use with this pillow to provide maximum comfort for your neck pain, spine pain, back pain, anything else along those lines. So we have 4.7 inches on the tallest side, 3.9 inches on the short side, or if we remove that middle layer, then we have 3.5 inches on the tall side and three inches on the short side. Now let's go ahead, let's open it up and look at the package contents. Here are all the package contents. We just have the pillow in a bag with a nice card from Milemont letting us know that they'd love to hear from us if we have any questions. And they have a special note down here if you experience or smell any odor. That's just the fresh foam smell and it will go away after a couple hours. It's not harmful or anything along those lines. I actually don't smell anything when smelling this pillow so I don't think we have the odor. Now let's go ahead, let's open it up out of the bag and see it in its full form. So here's the fully expanded pillow in its nice form, guys. It took less than an hour to get to this expanded shape and size right here coming from that smushed plastic bag. We can flip it over too. You can see it looks identical on the other side. I want to show you guys too from this side, you can see the differences in heights right there. You can see it from that side too. And you can get a feel for the contours and shape of this pillow with my hand running through it like that. We can also zip off the cover. So let's remove the cover for a second. So you can see the inside of the pillow in the three layers that we have. So we can remove that middle layer if we want to be able to then adjust the height to three or three and a half inches as opposed to 4.7 and 3.9 inches. This cover is washable as well. Just don't wash the memory foam. I can lay on it right here in the studio. Really nice. You can flip it over too. Try it on this side. Put our head further in. We can try it on this end if we wanted. Other side. So now let's go ahead and let's try it out. All right guys, so I'm in bed trying out the pillow right now. You can see I'm laying on my side and we have the lower side right here and the higher side up top. There's a little bit of give to this memory foam pillow when you put your head in there and you have the weight of your head pressing down on it. But honestly, it's not that much. This is a pretty firm pillow and we have not removed that middle layer yet of the memory foam. So we are at the fullest heights on both sides right here. So again, I'm on my side right now and we're trying it out. Let's rotate it around guys. So now we have the taller side right here and our heads in the middle on the contour. So you have some additional support, just different styles and options you have with one pillow, which is nice. So there is some flexibility there depending on the height you want to have your head on when you're sleeping at night. So very easy to adjust. If you go, oh, this is you know too tall tonight for me. Just gonna very quickly rotate it back around and you're good to go. Now let me get on my back. So I'm on my back right now and we're trying it out. So you can see that right there. Definitely feels like a pillow made for somebody that likes to sleep on their back, just with how your head can rest right in there. We can rotate it around again too. So now we can pull it back for our head again with the taller area. You might have to work your head up a little bit more to rest in here in the nice contour that they have for you right there. And then we can try it on our stomachs as well. So if you're a stomach sleeper, you can see what that looks like right here. And you can rest your head in. I would not recommend this. I don't think that's very comfortable, honestly, at all. It's just too tall for your head and your neck. Let's try it from the other side, though. So if you like to sleep on your stomach, that's much better. But again, this is just really firm memory foam. So I think you do better with this pillow if you sleep on your side or especially your back. And you can also kind of cram it around and adjust it however you want if you like to hug and snuggle 
your pillow like this. Now let's go ahead, let's remove that inside layer and try it out again. All right guys, so you can see we have the cover removed from the pillow and I gotta say it was pretty difficult to get the cover off as that foam expanded there, it's very tight. But now you can see we have three different layers. So there's the three layers of the pillow. So let's go ahead, let's remove the top layer and here's the middle layer. Let's take that one aside and now we have the bottom. Let's see if we can put the top layer back on. So there we go guys, we just created a new memory foam pillow using just the bottom and top layer right there. And here's that middle layer again. So you can just see what that looks like from both sides. Now let's go ahead, let's put the cover back on and try it out. So now I got the cover put back on and we have that middle layer removed. I really like the pillow a lot better now with that middle layer gone. That's just my own personal preference for sleeping and comfort when I like to lay down. So I'm on my side right now, it's really nice. We can rotate it around to the other side, which is the taller side. And we can try it out again. Much better too on this side, just for me and my own personal preference. So that's nice. Now we can go ahead, we can rotate to our back. So we have it on our back now and our head fits nicely in there, even at the tallest side right there. So that's nice. And then we can rotate it around, bring it back, and it fits really nice. So we have our nice support with that contour right there for our head and our neck. So great guys, really happy with the build quality. The memory foam's nice. Definitely not that much of give still, even with the middle layer gone. Now we can try it from our stomach. So here we go, we're on our stomach. We can lay this way so you can see what it's like. We can put our head the other way as well too and we can adjust it just by pulling the pillow up or pushing it further away, depending on what we desire. And then again, if you like to hug and cuddle and snuggle your pillow, you can really grip it tight and it will conform to what you want. But it's definitely not as thick now that we have that middle layer removed. But in regards to the build quality, guys, everything seems fine. Really nice memory foam. It's great that we have that option to be able to put that layer back in or remove it whenever we want. So in case you're wondering, I was able to successfully put this back in the pillowcase with that middle layer reinstalled. It took me around five minutes or so. And I want to point out for you guys that there are two different sizes to this case. So it can only fit back in one way. Don't do what I did where you put it in the wrong way and realize it at the very end. Line it up properly and then push everything in. Be patient and don't rip the memory foam. I didn't have any issues with it. It just took me about five minutes to properly get everything pushed back in place. Well, that concludes our video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget the product link will be in our video description below. Please go ahead, check it out and do your shopping from there. Any purchase made through that link helps support our channel at no additional cost to you. So we're really grateful and thankful for all of your support. While you're at it, can you go ahead and hit that like button for us? And subscribe to our channel. We have new content coming out daily and we don't want you to miss anything. Please go ahead and give us a follow online and make it a clean sweep. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Twitch, TikTok, Discord. You can message us on WeChat. Check out our website and join our free newsletter. Thank you guys so much for being here. Don't forget new content daily and we can't wait to see you in our next video.